Hello everyone, in this video I want to address a request that I received recently. Uh, the purpose was to see how we could do some mesh sensitivity on a radius tensile test and uh, I wanted to record it, the strategy that I proposed for such case. So just let's have a look at the model, uh, one coupon with uh, symmetry under reconditions review and uh, the different conditions and an initial or an input velocity fixed. But what we would like is to get the loading not to be done for every mesh. We would like one way to get the loading uh, applied on all the components and to be able to manage all components or all parts with a different mesh. So what I started first um, was to look at the loads and if you look right now, so let me pick maybe this one, uh, you see that the load is associated to a set, uh, to a group of nodes. You can edit this group of nodes, and you see that right now we are pointing to nodes, which is pretty uh, obvious, uh, the, the, the straightest way to define a selection of nodes uh, in many solvers. But in radius, you can turn things out and especially you can work for instance with boxes. The interest of working with boxes, for instance, I could create one box and I would go to topology, uh, point and notes. So I will create purposely two points um, which I will use to uh, drag a box in fact. So I need first to move a little bit my um, points, so let me switch to points, I want to move this point, uh, I want to move it from uh, that one in this direction, I want to uh, move it from minus dot one in this direction, and I want to move it from minus dot one in this direction. So doing this um, this node in th this point is it in this corner same here so minus dot one I want to do it no control Z, I did something wrong I need to unshift this one so dot one here uh, I will do minus dot one here and I will increase it from that one. So here I have my two corners of a box, which means uh, now I can go to my box again. I will go to the first one, pick this uh, select position, corner one, validate, uh, and select corner two, position, validate, close, which means you see now. You have a graphic representation of your box and if you go to this one and you say review you will review again the notes of interest so i will pause the video from now uh, just to create uh, the four other uh, the one two three other box and then i will continue the, the demonstration now that i have created my four um, Bit in my faucets and uh, do not always take care about the position of the symbols for the load, uh, take care about the locations of the nodes themselves, not this visualization. Uh, let's focus on a uh, different mesh. So, for this, um, I will go to my uh, part browser because I'm working mostly with parts now and I want to duplicate the part and to create a new mesh. Um, so for this, what I will do is to create um, an instance from here, create um, that I want to move, and this instance, then I will um, break it. Yes, um, uh, here I can, so let me turn off this one. Probably what I can do is select my two parts and change your color to have two different colors here. And for this one, I will go to 2D, 
general 2D mesh, uh, I will select my elements again, ask for quad only, one millimeter for instance, and it's on mesh. Then uh, here it is, I will keep this mesh. So now I have my two different mesh and the loads and if I go to this one I should see even with this box so probably here my box here uh, needs to be a little bit refined otherwise I won't be able to take my, my nodes same here too so this is good to do it in order to make sure that um, your definition is as correct as needs so let me move this point uh, interactively up to there, um, escape. So I'm just moving the node, so it is expected that the box does not update yet. Uh, let me scroll this one up to here. Okay, and now let me go back to my sets. Um, oh, oh, I could even go directly to the box. Uh, let me review my box. Uh, I have this one indeed to be changed. So let me take this one, uh, escape the uh, translate, and I will change here the location to this point. Oh, three. I picked the wrong one, so I need to revert the first one to this point. Like this. And now I have my extended. And uh, same for the second box, so review, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. So now, now for this one, same principle, I need to update my points, my date, and then my box is complete. Last step is to create my configurations, my subsystems and configurations. So let me go to assembly. Uh, I will go to subsystem and here uh, I will create uh, two different configurations. Configurations means two different jobs, uh, two different models that will be exported from the same HM file. So from this I need to create two different subsystems to start with. So let's call the first one 2mm and let's call the second one, one millimeter. So here, if we, uh, you look at my components, uh, my parts, my uh, different entities, um, I just have the information about the different parts, but with no detail yet. What I like to do when I'm doing some uh, subsystems is to go to configure process and to make sure to show entities at a subfolder. I don't do it on the model browser because I like to keep it as a kind of synthesis list, but for the uh, subsystem browser, um, I really prefer to have the expanded list. And then I can go to my parts. And before moving them, let me go again to right click, organize settings. For components and parts, I want, for my case here, to move the nodes and the elements but as I share the same property and the same material, I do not want to, um, them to be moved. Which means now I can get access to my part. Let me take shell number one, which was a one millimeter, and shell one, which is a two millimeter. So if you look, I have components, geometries, elements, nodes uh, in, which of, in each of them. Uh, now I need to split this view in order to have access to my configuration. The configuration you'll be able to create them from top left window. So this will be the one millimeter configuration, this one. And I will create a new one with two millimeter. And what I will do is basically the one millimeter, store it into the one millimeter here and two millimeters drawing in the two millimeter. Now I have two different models. Either I activate the first one and I can say um, sorry, okay. uh, show all. So 
first case system one or I have my second subsystem with the two millimeter. Everything which is common to the two different models, it will be a uh, part of the export. <clears throat> so here, what I can do generally is just to say, okay, I want to export this one file, uh, export solver deck, and this will be my Denzil test uh, one millimeter. Export and export. And with my two millimeter file export solver deck and the test two millimeter export and then I have exported two different models with the two different mesh and both of them really run properly. Um, the beauty of this thing is that if you need to bring any change, let's say you want to add some uh, output blocks, extra output blocks, or you need to change the material or whatever, you just have to turn on, turn off each of the configuration and your two models, assuming you just have two different mesh to be tested, will be updated live. You just have to export them once again. Hope this can help. See you later.